Hello again, Alan Steady here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we're going to be discussing synchronized application control and how you can enable it on your Sophos XG firewall. All right, so synchronized application control truly is revolutionary. What it's going to do is bring even greater depth to network visibility. When configured correctly, we can identify, classify, and even control active applications on the network. Synchronized application control is a piece of the synchronized security suite, so our endpoint can then share information with our Sophos XG firewall, such as applications our users are interacting with. And because our endpoint is now utilizing synchronized security to obtain information from the endpoint about applications that don't have signatures or are using generic HTTP or HTTPS connections, you see now this solves a huge problem that affects signature-based app control on all firewalls today where many applications were being classified as unknown or unclassified. But what's going to happen here when we turn on synchronized application control, our Sophos XG firewall is going to talk to the endpoint and say, hey, I don't recognize this application. What's it from? And now our endpoint is going to be able to share more information about the types of applications that are running. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the web admin now of our Sophos XG firewall and look at the configuration side of synchronized application control. And again, because this is part of the synchronized security, in order to support synchronized application control, all of our computers must be managed by Sophos Central and have security heartbeat enabled. So here in our Sophos XG firewall, we'll navigate to protect followed by synchronized security and enter in the registration information which is tied to our Sophos Central account. Now if you don't already have a Sophos Central account, I'm including a link down below in our description for you to create a Sophos Central trial and follow along. So if you don't already have a Sophos Central account, go ahead and complete that setup first, then come back here and complete the registration. Synchronizing our Sophos XG firewall to our Sophos Central account is extremely simple. We're literally just going to enter in our email address and the password associated with that account. All right, so we can see that our Sophos Central registration for Security Heartbeat has been successfully completed. The next piece here is to just make sure that our synchronized application control is enabled. And then I would also recommend either creating or updating your current firewall policies to include application control scanning with logging turned on, even if it's just an allow all policy. So with synchronized application control now enabled, if we come over here to our control center in our dashboard, what we'll see now is synchronized application control. This is going to take a little bit of time from our users, of course, generating some traffic and utilizing these applications before any apps are actually detected by our Sophos XG firewall. Just a couple of things I am going to mention here is that synchronized application control is not going to be supported in active active HA. So if you have a stateful HA pair, unfortunately right now, synchronized application control isn't going to work for your environment. And another cool thing is that synchronized security, which also is going to include our synchronized application control, is also supported in a discover deployment mode. If you're not familiar with the Discover deployment mode, basically it's just going to provide advanced visibility without actually enforcing any of our policies. So this is kind of a great way to just kind of monitor what's occurring on the network. Okay, so we've let this run now for some time and we can see now that we've got some user and device insights for both our security heartbeat as well as synchronized application control. We can see that we've discovered a ton of new apps, 278. So we can actually click on this right here. This is just a little hyperlink. And it's going to take us right here to our synchronized application control. So here we can see the applications that have been detected, the number of occurrences, the number of machines it was found on, and expanding this here will actually give us the usernames. So now we're able to bring some identity to these applications, who's trying to use them. And it's also going to give us the category. Now we can also manage all of these applications by customizing them, where we can change our application name as well as the category which again is going to allow us to be very granular in the way we're building our firewall policies and is also how we can customize and control all of these applications. So that's really it as far as synchronized application control goes on version 17. We do have some new exciting features coming out in 17.1, so definitely stay tuned for that. If you're not already subscribed to our YouTube channel, go ahead and do that so you're notified of future video releases. And if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give us the thumbs up and any kind of feedback, go ahead and leave that down there for us in the comments section. And more important, be sure to come and check us out at firewalls.com. Get secure. Stay secure.